Welcome to Extra Math. I'm Mr. C. I'm going to help you get better and faster at math. You want to be better and faster at math, don't you? Are you ready to get started? Press the button to start. Congratulations! You're almost finished with Extra Math for today. I hope you liked it. The last thing you need to do is click the Sign Out button. That's easy. Come back tomorrow so we can do some more math, okay? Welcome back to Extra Math. It's good to see you again. Remember me? I'm Mr. C. Press the button to get started. Hey, that's all for today. Don't forget to click the Sign Out button. Remember, the more you practice, the better you will become at math. So come back tomorrow, okay? Welcome back to Extra Math. I'm glad you keep coming back because I want you to be good at math, and that takes practice. So let's do it. That's it. It feels good to get better at something. Do you feel like you are getting better at math? Remember to click the Sign Out button, and I'll see you next time. Hi again. I'm glad you're back because practicing math is important. From now on, I won't talk to you most of the time because you've done extra math enough times to know what to do. But that doesn't mean I won't be happy to see you every time. Go ahead and press the button to get started. Welcome back to Extra Math. I haven't seen you in a long time, and I missed you. Well, let's do some math, okay? Press the button to start. That's it. Thanks for coming back to Extra Math. Don't make me wait so long to see you again, okay? Bye. We'll start out with a short quiz to find out how well you can answer these addition problems. I'll give you the easiest problems first. Try to remember the answer if you can. Otherwise, try to figure it out. Don't guess. If you make a mistake or cannot figure out the answer, I will show you the right answer so you can type it in. Try to answer as many as you can before the quiz is over, but don't go so fast that you make mistakes. When you are ready, press the button. Okay, you are done with the quiz. See the matrix over there? It shows how you did. If you see a green check mark, it means you got that answer right. If you see a red X, it means you got that answer wrong. If you see a blue hourglass, it means time ran out on that question. The best thing to get is a smiley face. It means you got that answer right and did it quickly. With practice, you will be able to get smiley faces every time. Take a look at your results, then press the button to go on to the next activity. We are going to do another short quiz on addition and give you some of the problems we didn't get to on the first quiz. It's a short quiz like last time, so stay focused until you are finished. Don't worry about mistakes. You can show that you know the right answer in the future. Just do your best and everything will be okay. Press the button to start the quiz. That's it for the quiz. Look at the matrix over there to see your results, then press the button to go on. Oh yes, it's another addition quiz. We should be done with the addition placement test soon. Remember, speed is important, but accuracy is even more important. Well, let's do the quiz. That's it for the quiz. Take a look at your results, then press the button to go on. Let's do a placement test to find out how well you know subtraction. We will start with the easiest problems first. Go as fast as you can, but not so fast that you make mistakes. If you do make a mistake, don't worry about it. Just type in the right answer and go on. I'm counting on you to give this your best shot. Press the button to start the test. We are going to have to do one or two more subtraction quizzes to finish the subtraction placement tests. This will be very similar to the last quiz. Challenge yourself to do better this time than last. I think you will do it. Press the button when you are ready. Okay, let's do a placement test to find out how well you know the multiplication facts. As always, we'll start with the easy problems. Stay focused and do your best, okay? Press the button when you are ready. 
we are going to have to do one or two more multiplication quizzes to finish the multiplication placement test. Keep up a good effort and we'll be done soon. Press the button when you are ready to start. Do you think you are ready for division? I think so. Let's find out what you know with a placement test. Press the button to start. We are going to have to do one or two more division quizzes to finish the division placement test, but I suspect you knew that already. Are you ready? Let's do it. It's time for a progress quiz, but first, look at your matrix. Some of the squares are colored. A gray square means we are going to practice that problem. A yellow square means you are pretty good at that problem. A green square means that you are really good at that problem. Oh, and a white square means we'll worry about that problem later. Our goal is to turn all of the squares green. So let's do the quiz. Take a look at the results from your quiz and click the button to go on. It's time for another progress quiz so you can show what you are learning and so we know what problems you need to practice. This is also your chance to change the colored squares on your matrix to yellow and green. Don't worry about mistakes. Just do your best and the colors will take care of themselves. Let's do it. Let's do a progress quiz. You might be able to change only one or two squares to green today, but if you do extra math regularly, then you can turn all of the squares to green. You can do it if you try hard. I know you can. All right, now it is time to practice. These are the problems that we are going to focus on right now. The way we are going to do it is called race the teacher. Here's how it works. For each problem, you try to answer it before I do. If you do, I'll give you a smiley sticker and we'll see how many smileys you can get in a row. Ready? Press the button to start. You are done with that practice. Here's the most smileys you got in a row. Do you think you can get more next time? I bet you can. Press the button when you are ready to go on. Let's do another practice, this time with these facts. Do you want to know the secret to answering the questions before I do? Questions come back over and over again, so try to remember the answer rather than figuring it out. Remembering is faster. Try it this time. Press the button to start. You finished another practice. Did you try recalling the answers this time? Did it help you get more smileys? Press the button to go on. It's practice time again. I'll give you another tip. If I answer the question before you do, then repeat the question and answer to yourself in your head a couple of times before you type it in. That will help you remember the answer when the problem comes back. I'm ready. Are you? Let's go. You finish another practice. Do you think you are getting better at these problems? I think so. Press the button to go on. It's time for another practice. Try to beat me to the answer as often as you can. The secret is to recall the answer if you can. Otherwise, you have to figure it out, which takes longer. Press the button to start. So you decided to do extra math again today, huh? Great. In extra sessions, we will do more practicing. You won't do a quiz again until tomorrow or the next day that you come back to extra math. In the meanwhile, a little extra practice will help, so click the button to get started. You want to do even more extra math today? Wow, I'm glad you like it so much. Click the button to do some more practicing. I'm happy that you like extra math. I want you to know, though, that it is more important for you to do extra math every day than it is for you to do extra math many times in one day. Anyway, go ahead and click the button to get started. Hi again. You have done all that you can do in extra math for today. Please come back tomorrow. 
I'll be waiting for you. Congratulations! You have finished your program on extra math. That is quite an accomplishment. I'm proud of you. Go tell your parent or teacher because this is a big deal. Hi again. You are finished with your extra math program. Ask your teacher or parent if they can find another program for you on extra math. I hope they do because I'd like to see you again. Take care. Congratulations, you finished addition. That makes me really happy. Are you proud of your accomplishment? I'm proud for you. I'm going to send a note to your teacher and parent to let them know, but you can tell them too. Wow, you finished subtraction. I knew you could do it and I'm thrilled that you did. I'm going to send a note to your teacher and parent to let them know, but you can tell them too. I'm very pleased to tell you that you have finished multiplication. Isn't that great? I think so. I'm going to send a note to your teacher and parent to let them know, but you can tell them too. Guess what? You finished division. That's wonderful. I'm going to send a note to your teacher and parent to let them know, but you can tell them too. Since it's been a long time since you did extra math, we are going to do the placement test over again to see what you may have learned or forgotten since then. When you are taking the quiz, try to remember the answers. If you can't, then figure it out. Don't guess. Type in the answers as quickly as you can, but not so fast that you make mistakes. Don't worry if you make a mistake. Just type in the correct answer and go on. The quiz is short, so try to do your best the whole time. Are you ready to take the quiz? Press the button to start. Oops, that's not the right answer. When this happens, I will show you the right answer. Type in the right answer to move on to the next question. Don't worry about making an occasional mistake. You'll get to practice this problem and show that you know the right answer in the future. Type in the right answer now to move on to the next question. Time has run out for that question. I will show you the right answer and you can type it in to move on to the next question. Don't worry if this happens once in a while. You will get to practice this problem and show that you know the right answer in the future. Type in the right answer to move on to the next question. Hey, you are typing in a lot of wrong answers. I know that you know the right answers to these questions. Please don't put in wrong answers on purpose. It won't get you through the quiz any faster and it will take you much longer to reach your goal of mastering all these facts. You can do this. I know you can. You just have to try. I'm sure you'd rather be doing something else right now than taking a math quiz, but it is really important for you to learn these math facts. You will use them many times in the rest of your math classes and for the rest of your life. So please don't type in wrong answers on purpose. If you keep doing it, I will send the note to your teacher or parent letting them know. It appears that you are typing in wrong answers on purpose again. I sent a note in email to your teacher and parent letting them know. I believe that you can do this, but you are going to have to do your part. I'm waiting for you to type in the right answer so we can move on to the next question. The quiz is short and you need to keep your attention on it the whole time. Try to answer as many questions as possible before the quiz is over. We're going to do a practice quiz so you can see how this works. I will show you a problem and you type in the answer as quickly as you can. If you get the answer wrong or can't figure it out, then I will show you the answer. Type in the correct answer to move on to the next question. Try to answer as many as possible before the quiz is over. Remember, this is just a practice, so the results won't count for anything, but it works just like the real quizzes. Press the button to start your practice quiz. You have finished your practice quiz. What do you think? You can see your results on this matrix over here. Of course, the results don't count because this was just the practice, but now you know how quizzes work in extra math. 
click the button to go on to the next activity. I'm waiting for you to type in the right answer so we can move on to the next question.